uh, today st start with the next point that is a fire hazards and uh, we have seen the introductory part of the fire hazards in last lecture so what is a fire the fire is a self sustaining process of rapid oxidation of the fuel which producing the heat and light right for any fire it required the oxygen and amount of oxygen is make them to uh, the, uh, it is a more it is a, it, depending upon this fire it is a more fire is required the more oxygen as like so fire is a exothermic reaction chemical reaction in between oxygen and the fuel at a certain temperature these are the three things essential for combustion of the fire the fuel the fuel is required and this fuel may be there is a combustible materials oxygen it is about the 23% oxygen oxygen is there right so it is a we chance it is a very dangerous situation after the fire will be happen then temperature the temperature is maybe about the 40 or the 50 degree centigrade so that is a possible so these are the three things which are very important for combustion of the fire and uh, it is a to increase the fire then we have seen last time also these are different types of the classification of the fire classification of the fire depending upon the what type of the metal can be used for the fire so these are the type a type b type uh, c type d and type k so we have seen the type a is maybe uh, combustion metals are the wood and paper type b is a liquid and gases the type c is a energy is electricity part type d is a combustion metals and the type k is oils and different fats are there so these are the cl how you classify the fire and uh, depending upon the what are the combustion material for uh, the fire then the five fire safety is required so particularly in the different industry or the in hospital uh, we require the fire safety measures must be required to avoid the problem to the loss of the patient or the loss of the persons or the loss of the property right in a uh, hospital as well as in industry so that's why this so this fires uh, can prevent the fires must be required in a hospital or industry so having the many heat dissipating equipments are used so in industry as well as the uh, in a hospital also or in a academic institution also we can use the different types of the heat dissipating equipments right and uh, uh, that is a combustible gases are used or different fuels are used different chemicals are used and which are used in a different area so then again in institution or the hospital we have lot of the electrical wire having and due to this electrical wire is a high voltage connect connections are there and then the the fire prone articles are there maybe gauze are there cottons are there linings are there books are there resistors are there right these are the uh, fire prone articles are there so heavy equipments and electrical gadgets also they required in a hospital or industry so that are the impeccable the prone to the hazardous incident proper precautions must be taken while planning for the infrastructure so the different electrical gadgets are used to in you know, a hospital as or industry and when you install that electrical gadgets so a way to proper planning is required in a in a infrastructure infrastructure only so adequate measures could need to the consider to design it design and uh, practice to ensure the safety to all so adequate measurement adequate measures can be taken to avoid a problem to the uh, employees who working in the area and so 100% safety to the all the persons 100% safety, safety to the all the uh, properties which are used in um, uh, manufacturing in the industry or the hospital then uh, different indicators like uh, architectural designing so you should be have the And when you are designing that your building, uh, so architecture designing should be appropriate, interior design should be appropriate, electrical wiring should be appropriate, appropriate equipments planning. So when you want to purchase the the different equipments and where you to, we want to install that equipment, that type of the planning must be required. Then proper waste management it should be also very important for safety measures in the, during the fire safety. then these are the different steps which are involving the emergency the management of the fire safety so there are the four steps are there this is called as a mitigation preparedness response and the recovery so mitigation means to uh, overcome the problem of the different fire 
So all the preventive measures can be taken to add a problem of the fire. This is called as mitigation. The preparedness. So to preventive measures can be taken. We have to prepare for uh, prevent that the different fires and to avoid a loss of the uh, property, loss of the men or the persons which are involving that. And that is called as a preparedness. Then responses. So all employees should be actively uh, work together as a teamwork and to respond uh, to uh, every employees to uh, help for or assist for, for the safety measures. The recovery, the recovery is also very important because after fire, right, and whatever the things are remaining, so we have to record well. We have to record that the whatever the remaining after the fire is called as a recovery. So these are the different steps which are involved in that is a mitigation, there's a way to require the planning for mitigation. And to overcome the problem of that, the fire, analysis of the weakness and identify the gaps. So why the fire is that? What are the different weaknesses uh, with the fire is happening? You can identify the different gaps of why the fire is happening. And testing and practices, where to test at that, so how the fire is possible, you can practice that, how to prevent that the fire. Learn from mistakes, make improvement, right? What are the previous mistakes will not be repeat again. And if there is a due to the any mistakes, maybe chances of fire and that same mistakes cannot be continued. Right. So we, we make them some of the improvement in that the mistake to avoid that uh, mistake again. The institute practice and policies. So the administrator, we can prepare that different policies and practices, how to uh, good practices in a company and to how to handle the uh, how to prevent the fires in the company. We can prepare the different practices, good uh, uh, good practices uh, and also good policies, policies uh, for the other guidelines which are provided to the every employees to how to prevent that uh, fires. Then collaborations, right? Collaboration in between the those or the fire fighting equipments are there. So those are the uh, organization which are mainly used for mainly uh, uh, working on that, how to prevent the fires and so we can is make the collaboration with that the agencies so we can help uh, for how to pre prevent that the fire. So this is called as a, a, a mitigation. Then preparedness is we can exercise uh, the training way to exercise how the prevent that the fire, they to give the proper training to prevention of the fire. So resource management, so whatever the uh, resources required for to preventing the fire that resources must be planned for that and we have to we have to procure before the any fire is there then you can plan proper plan it should be very important for the aspects uh, then is a uh, responses can supplying so responses means that there is supplying the different supplier we can supplying the different material and this material which are particularly used for the prevent the fire. So the proper uh, way of can supplying the material or the good quality of the supplying the material or timely supply the material. This product responses. Then stops the stops which are responsible for the uh, preventing the prevent the fire, right? And the, all the employees should be aware about the how to prevent the fire. We have to give the proper training to that the person. So that is called as all persons should be responded well. So then it's how the different posture to prevent the fire. So we can prepare the different standard operating posture for uh, every uh, uh, procedure or the every equipment, every activity, right, to avoid the problem of the fire. The relationship between cooperation. So the uh, every department should be uh, should be cooperative, right? It should be cooperative with each other. And if a, if anything goes on happening will be cooperate to the uh, one person or the another person, right? To helping to the one other person or the another person, right? And that is called response. Then unified management disaster. So every department or every company have management disaster, disaster management uh, department is must be required. And he has uh, main responsibilities to avoid uh, uh, different disasters in the department or the company. Then recovery and resiliency. Recovery with these uh, internal efforts within the organization to ensure that critical business and the services uh, functions can resist to the disruption of the fire. So how to preventing the fire is one thing, but 
after this firing so how you recover that the different metal uh, in the fire or how to recover the properties from the fire after the fire so business continuity so after the fire so business should be continue it should be very important so and that uh, that, uh, that that can be overcome the recovery plans so how to recover that the material after the firing how to recover the different uh, land area how to recover the different uh, uh, property from that uh, uh, company that right, is called the recovery plans are there insurance coverage so after the firing so we have to ensure uh, the different insurance company and to uh, ensure that your uh, department or the ensure that are different equipments ensure that are different types of the um, activities were conducted so can get the compensation from that insurance company and to avoid loss of uh, money or the loss of uh, due to the fire the continuity of the operation must be required so uh, after the fire should be continue the oper operation must be continue and your company should be continue uh, that it is very important the continuity of the services continue the operations it should be very important and it is what is the recovery so recovery as such that we have to continue your operation we are continue your business must be very important then uh, we have to prepare that different types of the sop templates right sop template the standard operating posture template for every activity that is a mitigation preparedness activity right a state has several objective or the strategies for hazard reduction and resource issues so how you reduce that uh, hazards how you reduce that the fire hazards right you prepare the different standard operating posture for the every activity and to avoid the fire after this the preparedness and resource issues are there so you can preventing the different fires fire hazards way to prepare for that right way to prepare for that to to prevent and prevention from that fire hazards then the responses and recovery we have seen the hazard control and resource issues the hazard monitoring and the recovering from after hazards is there then we can prepare the different sop templates notification procedure right notification procedure so appropriate notification is is given to the different employees how to prevent that uh, fire within the facilities or in the system or what are the different guidelines of the government what are the different external organization or ngo organizations are there right these are the uh, this guideline should be also provided to the uh, every employees or notify every employees regarding the guidelines to prevent the fire the specialized staff training should be important very important so staff training uh, to how to avoid the problem how to avoid that uh, uh, fires and after the firing how to recover that the from the fire so that that type of the training should be given to that person given to the employees the references and the further assistance should be the very important the detection manuals or the specific issues as procedure so the procedure it should be maintained and every activity have that proper procedure to avoid a problem the review the dead after the prepare the different sops and again uh, this sop can review uh, some of the days in the the yearly review or maybe two yearly review and what are the different improvement in that the sop we can improve improve that that is called as reviewing data are there uh, then these are the nine states which are involving to fire safety how to prevent the fire and these are the different preventive measures can be taken uh, by that nine steps so first thing is a form emergency management committee you can establish the different management committee how to avoid the fire how to prevent the fire can establish the every role establish the roles of the every person which are involved in that committee right to assign the responsibility to that the committee every members in that committee so he can work well and he can what are the assigned duties of that he can do well so and this code as a emergency and a committee can be formed then develop hazards with liability analysis and complete operating unit templates to prepare the different uh, threats or the impacted impacts to prepare the different operating procedure uh, standard operating procedure so determine the various threats which are involved in the fire all right so various threats which are involved in the preventing the fire prevention of the fire so after the fire what is a uh, impact on a company 
what is the impact on the person which are impact on the partners is what is the impact on the uh, different department right and we can determine these things are there what will be sets uh, after the firing and what are the impact after the firing so that will be also predicted that the develop the standard operating posture so develop strategies for mitigation preparedness responses and recovery that we have seen then implement of the mitigation and the preparedness activity so take the action to do the impact and the build capacity we can take the action we can how can reduce that impact after the firing right and that will be consideration so this all are uh, the four committees order and this committees we can prepare the uh, report to that committee and this reports of the result of mitigation and preparedness emergency management committee and this the report which has sent to that emergency management committee and this management committee we can decide what will done what will we do after this uh, after the, the how to prevent that uh, fire and you can take on the some decision about this then uh, develop the emergency operation plans so if anything is severe thing if anything fire there is very severe fire is there so what are the we can what are the different emergency operation plan can be prepared right so is a second way there is a plan b we can decide it. and this with this plan b we can uh, what will be done in the plan b that will be decided first again so develop that emergency uh, operational plans that is organizational concept of operation the conduct the staff education and the training so every employees every staff right should be understand the role of role of that uh, that person so build up the cap, uh, competency right in a department competency in the uh, total company then we can build up the confidence regarding to uh, how to do the good job in a company right then that type of the confidence will be developed and this develop, uh, this uh, uh, this type of the confidence can develop after the conducting the staff uh, education as well as the staff training should be provided to that then implement emergency operation plan conduct and critics right so what is the planning of that and what is the planning of that emergency contact and that planning should be uh, uh, planning should be conducted right uh, that that action should be done that is called rehearsal of the actual events so what are the planning is there we can play, uh, make the rehearsal right and with that rehearsal we can see that so if uh, if the fire is there right what will be happen after the fire what is impact on the hub after the fire that will be predicted before and that is called the rehearsal we can do the rehearsal of that particular uh, uh, fire hazards and this is a or will be actual then annual in, uh, evaluation and corrective actions can taken so every year uh, there is audit order or every uh, six month there is audited or uh, audits are there during that audits right we to uh, decide that we can evaluate the different activity and what are the uh, different problems in that that will be overcome the problem with corrective measures can be taken so can reviewing refining the emergency management program is very important for that the fire safety so this is about nine step which are involving to how to prevent the fire fire and the fire safety then the planning and management is very important you have to plan for uh, prevent the fires and uh, can manage that these things are there so first thing is infrastructure planning is very important so before you build up any uh, company or you can locate of the any company so there is called as the infrastructure the planning must be required then there is a interior designing what we should be interior design is there the electrical planning so what are the different electrical points are there what are the uh, which are the wiring is used there is good quality the wiring is used what are different point which are considering different power points which are considering this is called as electrical system planning the new equipments and services planning or after this purchasing that equipment where you install that equipment and how you given that the energy to that the particular equipment or the electricity power right and that is a what is the planning so this required the planning the fire protection system so if anything is fire how can prevent that fire so we can require that fire protection system to avoid the problem then fire protection equipments we can use for avoid that problem the safety security equipments it should be required then fire safety training and practices right so these are all should be considered when you plan the things and to overcome the problem during during the fire 
then is a uh, we see, see one by one that is a infrastructure planning so this a uh, infrastructure planning is architectural design intel design electrical wiring right appropriate equipment planning the proper waste management which are taken in consideration in the uh, planning infrastructure planning is there then architecture and layout planning so the following points should be considered when you layout of your company so there is a sufficient for the open space around the building right so if anything happen uh, in that if the uncertain happening is there so we can just evacuate that the particular place and to avoid the problem to the person as well as avoid the problem to the property so sufficient open space in between two buildings so can minimize the fire spread right minimize the fire spread that's why uh, in in two building it's it should be have the proper pace then also should have the enough pace for the movement and the parking fighting vehicles so fire uh, fire fighting uh, fire fighting vehicles it should be coming into the particular area so that type of the pace should be required right for uh, for the fire fighting equipments uh, uh, vehicles or ambulance right or the premises the wide road it should be approached <coughs> so you should have prepared the so that uh, company should be have the wide road uh, outside right so we can properly planning that uh, parking of the different vehicles or the ambulance right and to uh, if emergency is there we can plan for that the considering the size and number of occupancy lobbies staircases ramps it should be sufficient to wide to ensure the easy movement of the traffic and the quick evacuation of the during emergency so all should be uh, planned and that should be planned in a during architecture designing as well as a layout planning then architecture and a layout planning the design of the building structure so can plan it should be plan uh, it should be uh, specialized exclusion of the smoke in case of the fire or any smoke leak right there can allow the that uh, if the any leakage of the smoke is there it can easily can be uh, uh, go the outside this most smoke is not be going the inside the company we can go in the outside so such type of the planning must be required the must have the enough doors and the windows for the proper ventilation so if anything is fire right so enough filtration ventilation is required so avoid a problem then adequate emergency rescue aids are suitable refuge area should be incorporated into the design then ideally heavy duty elevators we can especially use for the fire fighting personnel can be used then a building should be so designed it reduces the damage due to earthquake or the fair extent okay. right so it should be also very important due to, and uh, it should, the building should be have the resistant to the earthquake right the safe and easy means of the access should be uh, it's uh, so the building structure it should be safe and easily to access the every department easily right and that planning should be required this should be accessible to the all including disabled to move easily right if anything happen right we can this area should be vacated immediately and to avoid a problem in case case of emergency the safe and rapid exit should be provided to the all occupants then each building should be have the separate fire exit staircases are there proper uh, signage are there right so that should be the planning should be required when you doing the layout of your company then interior designing so critical areas like the lab x ray or if you are considering the hospital x ray labs ot lab as well labs right it should be installed in the proper way and the proper place should be important yeah, so again well protected and extra precautionary measures can taken uh, during if you have plan uh, doing that interior designing the interior should be have the fire proof doors must be required fire proof doors windows walls roof covered with the fire proof material right that should be very important then for uh, the floor uh, should be designed as that the free from the obstruction or the slip resistant uh, should be required then opening the floors it should be securely fence and the cover staircases and the ramp should be provided with the substantial uh, handrail right it should be required the handrail so can uh, move the person from the one place to another place easily without their slipping Uh, then other suitable supports means that to prevent a slipping and the whenever necessary so easy access for the servicing and maintenance of the plant machinery right and the building is also incorporated into the design so if any uh, uh, equipments or the any uh, uh, machine will be damaged or if you want to repairing that so uh, so that should be very important uh, so the one of the uh, 
different person which are coming to that area so you can maintain that machine or the repair that machine should be required so then building should be designed such that can resist the damage due to the earthquake or fair uh, extent the interior designing should be adequate natural lights so fresh air color therapies on the walls and the lights design should be such that there is a minimal use of the combustible material like gases petrol and kerosene the design should be plenty of the good quality of the fire retardant material should be used to so can avoiding the problem then appropriate waste management system should be need to prevent the accident during the hazardous waste so gas and oxygen pipeline should be made of the copper so there is a uh, if you are made of the copper there is a less chances of the leakage of the uh, gases right and to avoid the fire then the electrical uh, engineering is very important because electrical wiring is uh, required for transferring the electrical uh, energy from the one place to another places that the wire must be required so electrical engineering so electrical wiring design and ac plants so electrical wiring should be enclosed with in metal so heavy gauze should be screwed at the conduct cable uh, passing from the one floor to the another floor and to minimize the fire spread possibilities good quality of the copper cable well covered switches plugs sockets can good condition good conduction capacity heat resistant there should not be use a loose wiring hanging the must uh, master control switch over the each floor should located at the ground floor for the easy switching of the system then uh, is a highly advisable to the use individual air conditioning or pace heating system for each floor in a large building right aware this uh, centralized system can be also can be used for in hospital uh, particularly care should be taken to provide the appropriate automatic fire dampers for each floor so to can avoiding the problem of the fire uh, then the machinery designing the proper cooling facilities should be provided uh, can provided for the equipments the plants and machinery right and every uh, equipments it should be attached with the air conditioning system right so proper air conditioning system proper cooling system should be provided of every equipments must be required so uh, for that uh, maybe boilers we can use the different boilers to create the energy or the heating the plant rooms then the freezers manholes the similar confined the places have the effective means for the ensure the safe and ex exit and exit all equipment should be earth properly to can dissipate the static charges to the earth right it should be required so our thing should be required for the every equipment so those are the big in size in corporate totally uh, enclosed in a switch gear system uh, can uh, uh, circuit breakers or ordinary fuses order always emergency power supply arrangement should be needed if anything happens we can uh, emergency we can uh, power off must be required to avoid a problem then uh, uh, um, appropriate fire fighting equipments fire detection uh, smoke and heat detection alarms should be incorporated into the design right that should be required the fire fight equipments as per the quality standard and quality norms and that can be used in every department as well as centralized use then fire protection system these are the two fire protection system can be used in a department uh, as well as the in a centralized so these are two system there centralized and local so centralized means it is a totally uh, centralized systems are there so from that centralized system we can uh, provide it to the each department so fire water hydrant system fire production system are there fire detection system are there in local we can use a fire extinguishers the fire fighting equipments and to avoid this the problem then fire tetrahedron is there so the four elements which are required for uh, to to uh, fire to spread is called as fire tetrahedron so the oxygen ignition combustion material and process of combustion so if the fire will be happening due to the these are the four hydrate hydrons are there oxygen due to the oxygen it may increase the fire due to ignition material ignition material there are chances of the ignition and the ignite the fire combustible material also can be chances of the fire the process of the combustion combustion if i use a different processing of that and due to the processing it may chances of the combustion of the material then uh, these are the different water hydrant system can be used to avoid the problem right so these are separate water tank we will be over this exclusively use the water fire hydrant 
Each building had the got fire hydrant connected to the tank to the steel water pipes. Right. So this is a the fire hydrants. Then whose pipes are there? Nozzles are there. Right. These are the different assembly which are required for uh, uh, fire uh, fighting equipment. It is called as the water hydrant system. We can if the fire is there, we can uh, spray uh, sprinkle the water in a large amount with the help of this the hose pipes. Then protection system, different protection system you can use. Regarding that, the protection system mainly contain the chemical acid. Uh, if you are coming in contact with the release the foam and it's cover of the foam, that is a cutting down the oxygen supply. Right. If you are cutting down the oxygen supply to avoid the uh, the fire. So these are the protection system must be required. So type of the foam you can use carbon dioxide or the foam chemical. Right. So you can uh, prevent from the different fire. The sprinkler system, which can using for the pipe and sprinkle uh, the water and where there is a fire is there and to avoid a problem. So these are different walls are used. Then fire detection system, you can use the fire detection systems are there. If anything fire is there, right, smoke detector, then fire alarms, then heat and flame detectors are there. So you can detecting uh, the system, detecting the fire route this equipment harder. If the fire is there, you, uh, you can fire alarm. So you can uh, uh, every employee should be understand. So anything is uh, suddenly happening, the fire is there. Smoke detectors, if uh, leakage of the smoke, right? Leakage of that any uh, fumes, right? We can detect it with the smoke detector. Then heat and the flame detector. So if uh, any flame can be leakage or the heat can be leakage, that will be detected by the this type of the detectors are there. So this is a fire detection systems can be used. Local protection we can use in locally. We can every department we can attach with the different uh, local equipment. There is a fire extinguishers are used in small size fire extinguishers, right? We can attach in the every department to avoid the problem. Then fire fighting equipments are there. These are the different fire fighting equipments are there. Maybe gloves are there, uh, uh, shoes are there, right? And these are these are the different fire hose boxes. Fireman axe or the fire beater or the fire hooks and the fire buckets. Right? These are the these are the equipments required for to prevent the fire or uh, that. Then different types of the extinguishers can be used depending upon the what type of the material is a combustible materials are there. What type of the fire it is? So the classifier we have seen the wood and clothes or the paper, or class B is a flammable liquid or gases. The class C is an energized equipment, and the class D is a Combustible metals are there. These are the different classes. So depending upon the classes, we can use different types of fire extinguishers. So can control the fire with the help of this material. So these are the different types of the extinguishers are there. And depending upon this uh, type of extinguisher, is called as the National Fire Protection Association is there. So you can classes this fire uh, as a four or uh, five classes is given. Right? We have seen that is a class A, class B, class C. Right? Class D and the class K. Right, these are the different types of the fire extinguishers can be used. So, basic type of the fire extinguishers is the most common extinguishers in laboratories can be used. Is a specialized dry chemical. The specialized dry chemical, so you can use for type B, uh, type B and type C, right? Or A, B, C. A, these are the different material. Uh, we can causing that fire, we can use this dry chemical for control the fire and the carbon dioxide also. These are the different uh, extinguishers can be used for that. Then installation and this is very important to uh, wall mounted, easy can be located and the visible from the distance so can readily can be accessible. So where we can uh, install that different fire equipments or the extinguishers and the particular uh, places where this uh, wall mounted or you can easily visible, readily accessible is very important. Then only approved extinguishers shall be used. Approved extinguishers. So those have the only approved extinguishers by the different uh, approved agencies. We can approve that fire extinguishers that only can be used. The fire fighting equipment in our vicinity inspect fire extinguishers once a month. The pressure is a recommended level. It should be uh, gauge is a green zone, right? We can. Uh, uh, we can prepare, we can just set that uh, pressure uh, into, into that the uh, fire extinguishers. 
the extinguishers is not blocked by the object to be interfaced with the access to the emergency. Any emergency should be uh, not be block your object, not be block the orifice of that uh, the fire extinguishers. So will be in emergency can be used. So pin and temporal seal are intact. So there are no dent, lick, or dust or rust of the chemical deposits after using that. Then maintenance, maintain extinguishers. Uh, uh, fully charged or the operate condition, the visually inspected monthly, maintained annually, hydrostatically tested, then uh, if extinguishers is damaged, you can immediately replace, recharge all these extinguishers same time. So wherever the expiry of that uh, uh, fire extinguishers are there, you can just maintain. Then fire safety rules are there, these are the different rules are there, there is a national building code of India. Uh, is a 1980, you can issue the different Indian standards intuition to serve as excellent references to the safety management for infrastructure. And so that organization is given the different guidelines how to prepare the different infrastructure and to avoid a fire. The Tariff Advisory Committee for the General Insurance Industry, uh, uh, then government authorities to recognize the fire hazards in the large buildings, right? Then fire clearance is not given by the authorities if the rules is not compiled. Right. So fire clearance means if you are designing some of this, uh, insta uh, designing some of this building, we can create that building. So uh, and this agency is given the fire clearance, uh, fire clearance. If there is a fire clearance, so can uh, start your building is there. So this called as fire clearance must be required and is under the law. So every uh, uh, societies or every building show that we can take the approval from that the agencies. So then we can start your construction. Then it's training it should be used in a fire as you can use. So training, so how to handle that fire fighting equipments. So that type of the training should be provided to the each and every employees, right? To avoid a problem. Then the free fighting, the fire fighting equipments management. So employers should be ensure the maintenance and inspection of the fire fighting equipments. So at a time, so periodically, periodically that uh, equipment should be uh, maintained and as well as a refill again. So ensure the safe and operational conditions to equipment. So training is going to the every employees, how to handle that fire extinguishers. The portable fire extinguishers should be inspected at least month only, monthly also. Respirator should be inspected at least monthly. Respirator, so during the, if you are uh, using the fire equipments, we have to use that respirator to avoid a problem to the, uh, those who operate that the fire extinguishers. So respirators, those, those are respirators where, where it is the running properly or not, functioning properly or not, we have to check that. Then personal protective equipment, this is one of the important aspects. So when you use that to avoid a problem uh, that during the fire, right? And to, uh, to protect from the personal damage, protect from the injury, right? Protect from that loss of that persons, right? That's why the different personal protection equipments can be used. The gloves are there. Canister gas mask is there, breathing apparatus set is there, resonator is there, uh, armalized suit is there, helmet, goggle, shore, for is a shore and fountain, or is a music kit, safety torch, siren, wine stock, stretcher, gumboot, the face shield, ear muff, or the ear plug, apron, blanket, PVC suits, the plus pressure suit, safety belt, safety net, rape ladder, the traffic control and the road safety devices, safety sign and, and the posters. So these are all our equipment, it is a, all our assembly is required for the personal protective equipments is containing. Uh, then these are security equipments are there. So we can, these are the use for uh, fireman only, right? So those have use for uh, those person which are handle the uh, fire extinguishers uh, equipments. So that uh, that person should be uh, wear that personal protective equipments as well as these are the uh, some fire uh, some of the things are there handheld metal detectors so metal detectors required for if anything's metal in that right anything is maybe chances of fire some of the combustion metal may bomb is also there right maybe chances right so that will be detected by the metal detectors then door frame metal detectors are there then in the door, it should be have the attached with the different motor detectors. So if the person is going in that the to that the door, right, we can easily can detect that. The so CCTV also required, right? The alarm system also required to assess the control system is also required for to as a security purpose. The internal 
EMP schedule should be required to fall all hazards, comprehensive emergency management should be required. And this is a fully supported that the management system by this company. EM program goals, we can continue of the care, uh, the safety of the patient, families and the staff, support to the community, of the nation, preservation of the vital records and the property also. So during the fire, it may chance that is a different important records may be burn also. So avoiding that and this, uh, if you are burning the some things, the, we can burning the property also, right? So that will be avoided. Then internal disaster action plan must be required. All right, it's every company have that disaster management plan and uh, these are the different uh, plans should be required, alternate sites, Right. If anything is fire is there, we can this uh, those person uh, which are uh, coming in this fire, we can immediately we can take out from the fire and which are make some of the arrangement in a dharmashala, temple, school or playground. If the if the severe cases are there, the folding tents are there, cots, trolleys, temporary shelters. Then identify the nearly tent or to a house to provide the beds and blankets. The transportation is also can be uh, so can easily transfer from the that patients from one uh, hospital to the another hospital first aid kits a drug kit and portable lights is there portable communication system is there identify the local voluntary organization you can provide the all type of the care uh, food as well as a uh, water and other caring system then these are the different steps which are in all in the fire management right so the the raise alarm if they have any fire in the department we can uh, we can raising the alarm alarm so there is in the alarm so every uh, employee should be understand so if anything happen in a company then start command center so those have centrally uh, uh, those have center those have managed that to prevent the fire that should be uh, commanded the inform of authority and the fire department inform to the uh, authority person those are the uh, fire department so we can easily provide that fire equipments, fire uh, fire equipments, and to control the fire in a department. Then stay, uh, start evacuation. So start evacuation means that though the person which are uh, coming to this the fire uh, fire, so this all these person which are uh, taken out from that uh, that place and to uh, in a safe area to come in a safe area. So this is called as a rescue operation. Uh, then action from the minor fire uh, minor fire is there. So these are the different fire alarms should be pulled. If the minor fire is there, we can a fire alarm is there. We can just pull that the fire alarm. We can alarming that uh, so can every employee should be know that. Fire department, you can call the fire department 101 and uh, get the assistance from that fire department. The fire is small containers are not spreading beyond the starting point. So if the smallest fire is there, so this fire is not be uh, spread all over the company that should be taken care. So if this is a clear, so you can evacuate that person from the one department on the on the department. So the area should be clear. So can easily can be passed from uh, that persons. Then you can bend down to the avoid the smoke, right? Or the proper extinguisher should be immediately available to add the hand at the hand. So the proper uh, extinguisher should be placed. So can easily can be accessible, easily can be handled and use that. So I wear the instructions and the know that use of fire extinguishers. So major fire to so start evacuation is the very important things are there. So evacuation, so during the emergency cases, the evacuation is very important to save the uh, life of the persons. Right? So emergency preparedness committee. So those are rescue committees there. So those are uh, persons which are coming into this fire. We can just evacuate from that place and to save the life of that persons. Right. Then identification of the alternative locations. Communication, transport options, then catch the supplies or the resources, employee safety and well being. Right, these are the uh, personal uh, uh, sent to the uh, different hospital in a uh, ICU units or the psychiatric patients or the stable patients will now not be uh, command. So, these are the uh, patient in move using the back, uh, back boards, uh, walking, wheelchair, blanket, that all it should be provided in that area. So, this area should be easily can evacuated. No special equipment can use in this. These are the these are the all is uh, instruction regarding evacuation. Then uh, options in evacuations: the shelter in the place, 
uh, then horizontal or lateral movement, vertical evacuation, right, is sheltered in a place. Uh, where there is a horizontal or lateral means a easily easier movement of the beds and the equipments, faster in initial phase, right? And these are the different evacuation options are there. The vertical evacuation, then evacuated uh, first. Who is evacuated first, right? So who is evacuated first? This is also very important, right? So those are the uh, serious injury. We can uh, we can evacuate it first, right? Those are the not much injury are can evacuate it after that. Right, we can provide that the different labels for that green label. So those is a yellow label, chair assist, red label, the full assist to the stretcher of the company, a company. Right, if the green label is there, means that the person is uh, able to walking and to evacuate that pest. If the yellow label means that, so the person is not walking properly, so, so he is required the some chair to transfer that person. Right, this is called as. Uh, uh, facilities and utility consideration, evacuation of devices that uh, we have seen. Uh, then areas to appoint the specific plan. Uh, these are sensory impact, the site sharing, the uh, special units of the dialysis, operating rooms, ICD rooms, secondary rooms, uh, care is there, oxygen chamber is must be required. Right, these are the different facilities should be provided to avoid the problem. The navigation from the operating rooms, cancellation of the uh, war cases or operation cases, evacuation procedure, stabilization and premature close of the cases, or airway management with alternative means, life support mechanism, transport option for the operating rooms, right? Uh, then uh, management of alternative environment, transfer of the stable environment, so maintain the life support, the maintain that aesthetic uh, state is there. So these are the uh, operating room. We get the operating room. <clears throat> Those are the some of the consideration. Communication to transport there, where the uh, transporting the person, uh, injured person from the one hospital to the another, uh, another hospital, that's why I require the some transportation facilities. Ambulance is required. So private cars, public buses, or hospital vans, or the ambulance must be required. So you can communicate to that the person, so you can easily can be coming to into that area and to transfer that injured person to the hospital. <clears throat> Then security challenges is evacuation. Uh, these are the consideration. So this is about the how can uh, prevent the fires in a department, <clears throat> in a say in a company as well as in department, right? So to do stop here. Okay. Okay, sir.